and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Jeff and I paint. Today I am painting for one of my favourite customers. Uh, regular viewers to my YouTube channel will already have heard of lovely Karen Kingsbury uh, from California IA. Uh, I have painted uh, a portrait of her beautiful cat Tigra and she also commissioned me to paint her beautiful little doggy Gina. Now Karen has commissioned me for a third time, love you Karen, uh, to paint a portrait of her son and daughter-in-law's two dogs Duke and Daisy. Because of the proportions uh, of the photographs, or rather because of the proportions of the, because of the way that the dogs looked in the photos, uh, I haven't been able to fit them nicely together on any kind of canvas that I can buy. So I've come up with the genius idea genius. of making my own canvas, uh, or rather making my own wooden panel. So I'm going to kind of custom make this to the right size so that I can fit both of these doggies nicely onto one panel. In order to do this, I need some kind of workshop. Now, thankfully, I've spent the last couple of months digging out underneath my shedio. And basically I've made a giant workshop. Now I do have to go through a series of small tunnels in order to get to the workshop because like I say it's underground here. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop down there and then I'll see you in the workshop in just a sec. I'll see you in a bit. cut my board that I'm going to paint on and I'm now making what do we call them the stretchers to go around the edge just to give it a little bit of support so we're going to cut this next then we'll glue them all together and hopefully we will have made our own canvas which is going to be uh, an absolute first for Jeff paints yes um, we shall see Uh, yeah, this is what we've made. It's a 50 by 80 centimeter custom sized wooden panel. Uh, we've kind of, we put a little bit of support on the back there and uh, yeah, it's looking good. I'm really pleased with it. I now need to get it painted white, get a grid drawn on it, and then we will start sketching out Duke and Daisy. Come on, let's go.
I think that we have got as far as I want to go with Duke at the moment. We've still got the collar bit to do, but as Daisy's collar is the same as Duke's collar, I'm going to do Daisy's first and then I'll do Duke's at the end. Uh, yeah, so uh, when I look at these two dogs, um, I, I can't stop seeing a pair of like, 70s rockers. What day did the Lord create Spinal Tap? And couldn't he have rested on that day too? Uh, that's kind of what they remind me of. Um, I can imagine the two of them sort of sitting there in a sort of a dirty old pub talking about the good old days when uh, a queen played at the uh, roundhouse or something like that. I don't know. Um, yeah, they, they just look like a couple of sort of landing rockers uh, to me. And I'm waiting for that train to bring you back, bring me back. Uh, so yeah, we, uh, we're we almost done with Duke, uh, but obviously we now need to start with Daisy, uh, so let's get cracking. Come on, let's get Daisy done. So we are done with painting Daisy and Duke. Uh, we've done the collar bit on Duke. We've got a nice little bit of background going on. Uh, yeah, we're all done. Karen, uh, thank you so much once again for commissioning me. I really hope that you like what I've done. Uh, people of YouTube, I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, then please leave me a little like. And if you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please get subscribing. Drop me a little comment. Let me know that you love me. Yeah. Uh, so let me show you the final finished result. It's my favorite pair of 1970s rockers. It's Daisy and Duke!